Synthesis test, you're going to have a perfectly healthy baby boy. Oh. A boy? You can already determine the baby's sex? Oh, that's easy. Our tests are really advanced. We'll call him Andrew. Now, Andrew, we both agreed that if the baby's a boy, we'll call him Michael. Chuck. Chuck? You have to call him Chuck. Why? Well, according to the Steinbrenner test, he'll be very athletic and... Chuck sounds like a good jock name. You can tell what kind of interests he'll have. That sort of takes the fun out of it. Yeah. Although Duke might be a better name. Why? Well, according to the Delaney test, when your son turns 18, he'll join the Hells Angels. And he'll marry a pregnant chippy and get trapped in a loveless marriage. There's more of this. Though in reality, her child will be the son of Alonzo Mutego, a local bongo player. When your son discovers the truth about his wife, he'll hunt Mutega down, finally catching up to him in a rundown bar in the Philippines. A night fight ensues. Mutega will lie dead. Your son staggers out with severe facial scars. He'll escape the local police, swim to a tramp steamer, work his way back to San Francisco, and live out his years as a retired hairdresser in... Regina. <laughs> Doctor. Not Regina. <laughs> now these tests aren't 100% accurate. Oh. Oh, oh. Excuse me, House. I'm looking for a tent. You're a tent? I don't believe it. You look fabulous, really. You know, the president would be proud to have you as a White House. And I'm not just saying that. You look great, especially this, uh, can't... No, 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 no. This feels like silk. This has got to be silk. That's fantastic. These ropes of yours? These ropes are a really nice touch. And these pegs? These are great pegs. Love those pegs. Can't say enough about those pegs. You have just redefined peg for me. I really mean that. And I'm not just saying that so you let me climb inside you. I really mean it. Come on, babe. Give us a hug. <laughs> Are you finished with this part of the paper? No. Oh. I guess you're enjoying all the dirty words in there. Dirty words? Oh, there are no dirty words in the Gazette. Sure, look at that. Rain predicted for some areas. Oh, there's nothing dirty about that. Areas? That's a dirty word. No, it's not. It is if you say it right. Area. Area. I touched 
my area. It rained, and now I have soggy area. That's disgusting. Oh, for a quarter. I love it. Ooh, look, there's another one. Raise pensions, federal group urges. There's nothing wrong with that. Group urges? Oh, boy, government in action. Urges. Group urges. I have urges in my area. The urge isn't being used that way. Mine is. <laughs> okay, here's a section. Leave me alone. Wow. You know, Claire, it's not very often I meet a woman who is so vivacious, enchanting, intelligent. Oh, Gil, I'm so glad you appreciate my intelligence. You know, most men can't handle dating a woman who's more intelligent than they are. Well, I... More intelligent? It's awful <laughs> to think having brains is a burden. More intelligent? Well, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a genius. But you are more intelligent than I am. Oh, I'm so glad you understand. You don't honestly think you're more intelligent than me. Oh, no, not you too, Gil. Well, it hardly seems fair to assume that you're... Let's not spoil the evening. After all, you just said I was more intelligent. <laughs> I said you were intelligent. I, I never said more. Are you saying that you're more intelligent than I am? No, I never said that, Claire. Then we're of the exact same intelligence. Uh, no, not the exact same. Then one of us must be more intelligent. Well, it's impossible to judge who's smarter. Not for me, which proves I'm more intelligent. <laughs> not proof. Look, I have a master's degree in psychology. Now, I don't make a big deal. I have a PhD in physics. My point is, it doesn't make any difference. Education is no measure of intelligence. IQ is. So what's your IQ? 133. I was highest in my class. I'm 165, so you can see why most men... Wait, 165 is genius IQ? You said you weren't a genius. Gil, I thought you were mature enough to handle this. I made a mistake. Geniuses don't make mistakes. Look, if you can't accept the fact that I am more intelligent than you are, this date is off. You are not more intelligent than me, and this date is off. Good night. <laughs> oh, God, I hate women who are more intelligent than I am. <laughs> Jason Mahooch, Master of Disguises. <laughs> See Jason ingeniously disguised as a door? Fooled him, Jason. Need a garbage bin to throw that Kleenex in? Oh no, it's Jason again. Jason the air conditioning unit. Don't you feel cooler just looking at it? Can you tell which is the real coffee machine? The taste won't give Jason away. That's a lovely mink stole man. Oops, it's Jason. Isn't it amazing what they can do with Teflon? Wait a minute. That's no frying pan. Isn't that Jason? <laughs> There's Jason again, right on time. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Somebody else fooled by Jason. <laughs> Jason Mahooch, the human chameleon. One unemployed man who isn't going to waste his days just sitting around. Bruno, we've got you surrounded. My men are armed. You won't get out alive. Play it smart. 
send out your wife. Come on, it's not worth it. Give us your wife. All right, I'm sending her out. Woo. Now, give us your money. Now or we shoot. And your television set. And you in the next house. We want your wife too, and your money. And a cereal. Right, and a cereal. And a melon ball. Hey guys, it's ready. Oh, oh, oh all right. right, okay. <laughs> what do you got, Paul? Okay, get ready for Cloister Kabak. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> Today's lesson in logical deduction, I, I shall read from the roll. Uh, Sanborn. I'm here, sir. Tess? Oh, here. Claire? Here. Derbyfield? I'm uh, not here, sir. That's it again, Derbyfield. That's not good, not good at all. Excuse me, sir. A point of logic? If Derbyfield is absent, how is it that you're able to converse with him about his absence? It's illogical. Illogical? Yes, sir. Explain. Well, sir, every day you ask who is here, and everyone who is here says so. Correct. Except for Derbyfield, who says he isn't. So therefore... Therefore, he isn't. There, class. Pure thought in action. Oh, oh, I wish I'd been here to see that one. <laughs> sir, if you look around the room, you'll notice that Derbyfield is here. <laughs> Hello, Derbyfield. Hi, right, sir. Kuradov. A verbal interrogative survey of the room indicates that Derbyfield is absent. But a visual scan of the room discloses that Derbyfield is present. How can this be? Derbyfield is trying to screw your head around, sir. <laughs> a bold hypothesis. Uh, do you have any rebuttal to make, Derbyfield? Uh, yes, sir. I think you will agree that it's illogical for me to be present and not present in the same class of logical deduction at the same time. Illogical and therefore uh, impossible. Therefore, such a class containing such an impossibility could not exist. So you are saying that this class is an unreality. It, it does not exist. <laughs> This class does not exist. <laughs> what a bird court. Trying to eat. mild-mannered insurance salesman who one day while portaging his aluminum canoe in Algonquin Park was suddenly hit by a giant bolt of lightning. Hit by lightning. You were hit by lightning. And had the canoe welded to his head. Right. It stuck to your head. Mr. Canoe Head. Canada's greatest aluminum crime fighter. Brother of Ted. Our story continues. Mr. Canoe 
had to express checkout, please. <laughs> Mr. Canoe had to express checkout, please. Maybe they want a price check. <laughs> Johnny Storm distracts Molecule Man with a fireball. Reed Richards aims a laser beam at his head. So? <laughs> so in the time it takes to blast him, Molecule Man synthesizes a mirror from air molecules and deflects the beam back. Yeah, well, we might. Yeah, but while Reed says, we beat you before Galactus, and by God, we're not going to allow you to devour our planet the way you've ravaged entire universes before, Sue will create a force field cushion for when he falls over from my blast. What the? Arg? No, 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 there's no way he can say all of that in the time it took the, the beam to hit the mirror and be reflected back. Unless he was able to talk at super fast speeds. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of a doubter, Rick. Yeah, you know a lot, don't you? Get <laughs> <Not> real. <laughs> Arlene, wake up. Arlene? Wake up! What? <laughs> Time to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, my friend. Oh, coffee table all day. Oh, great. Here we go. The old why do we have to hide in someone else's house routine. Well, why do we have to hide in someone else's house? I hate it. I really do. Look, if we want to be able to afford our own home someday, we have to make sacrifices. All right. So we saved on rent for six months. And on food, and on heat, electricity. But what about homes? I ain't got no friends, no toys. All I ever do is day and night is, is hide in the Dumb old coffee table. So you don't have to go to school. Oh, yeah. I love it here, Dad. <laughs> you see, Fred, nothing. You didn't hear any noise. It was just your imagination. No, I'm sure there's someone down here. All right. You check behind the TV. I'll check under the couch. <laughs> Someone's coming. Quick, kill the lights. He's back from Disney World already. Maybe he cut his vacation short. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you hide behind the bookcase. Oh. <laughs> ah, home sweet home. Till the owners get back. <laughs> Coffee, no sugar. What sort of donuts do you have? You got plain. Is that it? Yes. You got plain. <laughs> I'm a quiet man, I live alone. 
I walk to work. I watch Star Trek. I sell computers. This suit I'm wearing is made from 100% unknown fibers. I sell computers. At parties, I tell strangers what kind of software to buy. I talk way into the night. Did I tell you I know how to spell my name in binary code? It goes without saying. I sell computers. I made up a computer joke about sequential files. Listen, the second prompt is printer device number four. Instead of entering your printer device number, enter the device number of the unit to which you want to print your file. You enter the command, but your disk won't boot. My friends all laughed when they heard that one. They sell computers. I've never known a woman, but I programmed one into my computer. I imagine a woman is something like this. Maybe a lot of life has passed me by, but I have no regrets. I sell computers. I sell computers. I sell computers. 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 Hi. Um, the show seems to be a little short this week, so um, I'll make a sandwich.